Welcome to the Investors Trading Academy event of the week. Each week, our staff of educators tries to introduce you to a person of interest in the financial world. This could be a person in government or banking or an important investor or trader. In our continuing effort to prepare for the US primary election, we are focusing on all the possible candidates and their parties. The Republican field is huge and the Democrats continue to add nominees. One of the newest and least known is Lincoln Chafee, a former Republican senator who cast the party Party's only vote against the Iraq war, Mr. Chafee argues that Ms. Clinton's vote to authorize the war should disqualify her from the presidency. Mr. Chafee is likely to find the best reception among upscale white liberals, particularly those most passionate about restraining the United States from military interventions abroad. In other words, voters with a similar profile to himself. As a Republican turned independent turned Democrat from Rhode Island, Mr. Chafee is most likely to target New Hampshire and its somewhat quirky voters. Unaffiliated voters can participate in the state's primary, and there may be a constituency in this block for another New Englander who was something of a fiscal moderate and is outspoken on environmental issues and is progressive on cultural and foreign policy matters. Mr. Chafee has little in the way of campaign infrastructure or apparent strategy. Running for president does, however, offer him a platform to continue discussing issues he feels strongly about while there is no office for him to seek in Rhode Island. Chafee was appointed to the Senate in 1999 as a Republican to replace his father, John H. Chafee, who had died. He was elected the next year and was the only senator in his party to vote against going to war in Iraq. After being defeated by Sheldon Whitehouse in 2006, Mr. Chafee was elected governor in 2010 as an independent but later became a Democrat. He did not seek re-election.